I'll, I'll not watch my my uh, monitor. Um, I'll just tell you about this. This is Model Choice. It has been created by the uh, HFE core team, and it's working nicely. So you can select images. Um, yeah, I guess elephants might not be in a forest, and you can click on submit, and you will get um, the results. So, and I have a client um, who wanted to have this a little different because um, if we have a look at the editor, maybe we can see there are not too many options in um, in image choice. So, of course, you can upload images and add all the um, yeah metadata or alternative text. That's it. And then you have a handful of uh, options down here. So, of course, overall feedback as usual. And then, okay, you could deactivate the buttons and. Uh, yeah, I have some extra options here and some visual stuff. So you could choose the aspect ratio or how many images there should be in a row and stuff like that. So not too much. And so you don't have a pool of images that you could choose from. You just have one round and that's it. And uh, I have a customer who has um, different needs and this will be open sourced. Um, yeah, and I can, I can show it to you right away. So uh, let's go to my other screen. So this is, again, this is... we. we or I call it image choice rounds for now because uh, that was the main focus. So you can play different rounds. So let's just have a look how this might be different. So um, what animals are mammals? So let's say I'll say this butterfly and maybe this cat. And uh, I don't, don't mind the, um, the title, that might be wrong. I have to look at the settings. So let's say we have a look at that and we get, okay, this one was correct. Oh, uh, this one was correct. <laughs> the cat was correct. The butterfly was not correct. So one point for that, minus one point for that is zero. And it says round one. So uh, like in in, um, in question set, we could go to the next round. So and actually this is the same. Um, actually the, the images are also the same, but it is random. Um, uh, yeah, let's just choose three now, check and go to the next round. I don't know. Okay, this is weird. The images are always the same. Maybe there is a bug. Or maybe I have, conf oh, I have to check what I've configured. Uh, let's have a look. I think I'm, I may only have three images. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh yeah, that explains it. I just have three images. Uh, so let's um, let's just have a look at this. So as you already saw, you can have multiple rounds. So I completed three rounds, and I could check again. And I'm not sure how many rounds I had. So, okay, three rounds, and now you have some end screen, and you can see, okay, this is some, um, yeah, some my, my results, and um, I can uh, see the solution here if I wanted to. So, or I see, first, first of all, I see some feedback. I see some score, which is weird, 10 of 100. Why is that? We can have a look at that in a second. We can could retry, and we can have a look at the solutions, of course. We could, um, yeah, we just a look. Um, at the results, now we can see the solutions just like in um, in question set, basically. Um, but the you see that is, you will see that the settings are very different. So it's not like this was not three multiple choice or image choice questions that I have added. It was just one image choice question that I configured. And actually, it's not patching image choice. It's it's creating a wrapper around image choice. So you can um, image choice can be updated freely, and you can still have all the extra options. So um, let's have a look at the options. This is nothing not too special. So first of all, you have a title, and yeah, this was confusing anyway. Wasn't true. Um, yeah, and then you have the options of image choice itself. So this is image choice, and all the images that you add are image choice. Oh, you, and you already see I have um, decorative only. This is a new setting of HFP image that will be released soon. I have it already. Um, yeah, so uh, we have the images we could say, um, of course, if we're looking for mammals, we can say the cat is correct, butterfly would not be correct, then the bear is correct, and maybe we could add a couple more images, so I know I have my animal pictures here, so let's also add a bird maybe, and the bird is not correct, and maybe let's add, I don't know, a sea turtle maybe, which is not a mammal, and maybe one more or two more, I don't know, we can go crazy and a sheep sheep is an is a mammal so let's say this is correct so now we have six images and um if i scroll down if i open the behavioral settings this is still image choice you will see okay there's some stuff missing here we only have 
we, we cannot set the retry option here anymore uh, because this is now has moved to another um, uh, group, editor group. So if we go to round settings now, we can yeah, do all kinds of things. So um, we can say, let's, okay, we want to play less than maybe two rounds because we want to have a quick round. Or maybe let's, let's go for three. Let's say we want to have two images per round only. And let's say one should one of them should be correct, so um, that would be okay. And then we have um, kind of the mode for the pool that we created. We have a pool of six images now, and we could say, okay, do we want sampling with replacement? So that means uh, images could pop up more often in uh, future rounds. So if I had an image in the first round, it could also be in the second round, in the third round, in the fourth round, whatever. Or we could say sampling without replacement. Let's use that one. So. Once we have seen an image in a round, it will not um, occur again. So that might be useful. Um, oh yeah, this is an extra setting that this requires some tweaking uh, because uh, image choice doesn't feature that or it in general doesn't feature that and uh, I wanted to have it in there. <laughs> so um, still, still some trickery, but it works without uh, changing uh, the original code of image choice. So uh, we could even get negative scores. So if I only click something that is wrong, I will get minus one, minus two, or whatever. Oh yeah, and, and for the rounds, we could say, okay, should I be able in the round um, to see the solution if I wanted to? Um, it is disabled, but let's enable it, why not? Um, yeah, and the other options, we could say the whole uh, round should be scored with one, um, one point only. You know that from other content as well. This is for the round. Let's close the round settings, and then we can go to the, um, yeah, this labeled untitled image, image that is actually a bug or a problem with the editor. It's not with the content type. Um, this is the end screen where you could say, okay, you saw the dark image and, uh, and the text, and yeah, an end screen, nothing too fancy. And then we have the behavioral settings for um, the whole of um, uh, yeah, the, the rounds, so for all rounds not just for one, but for the whole uh, exercise. And you could say, uh, what m mode of scoring do I want? So we could choose total score, which is basically the normal way that H5P works. So it would um, sum up all the scores of the rounds. So um, yeah, and then depending if you have negative, allow negative scores or not. So you, uh, you can vary this. So let's say normal mode will be in each round, you can have minimum of zero points if you get everything wrong. And then the, uh, yeah, you could, could get zero points for, but it, it would sum up the rounds. Um, if you allow negative scores, of course, then the total sum might be negative. The total sum might be negative, but again, it would be zero. But the scoring would be a little different. Uh, we have one point total, which is yeah. The whole exercise will get give you one point if everything was correct and zero points uh, if something was not correct. And you saw that custom option. So um, this was also a request. It's kind of tricky to yeah to set up, I think, but yeah, you have to know. So this is the total scoring. So you can have play all the rounds, and then you can say, okay, in if the total score is within that range, I want to award, um, I don't know, um, yeah, zero points if it's in the in the first quarter, or like say in this case, ten points if it's in the second quarter, and so on and so on. Um, yeah, but um, this could could be useful, but. Yeah, it might be confusing. So I'm, I'm not sure about that option, but it's in there now. Uh, let's go for total score maybe. And of course you can, at the end, um, for the end screen, you could decide, okay, should I be able to retry? Should I be able to um, have a look at all the previous solutions? So this makes sense if you don't allow this in the rounds. I think we now allowed it. Yeah, we did. So um, yeah, it would make sense to disallow it here and only allow it after you're done, for example. Hey, let's keep it. Let's say w w solution can't be viewed um, in the rounds, but but at the end. So we've configured all kinds of stuff and uh, let's have a look now. So as we said, we want to have two images and one of those images should be correct. So um, yeah, I could go for the turtle because I like turtles. Um, but of course it is wrong. And you can see now see I have minus one, which is an exception in HFP because normally you would have zero, but it's only for the round, of course. Um, yeah, and then I, I cannot check, I cannot show have a look at the solution. This one is easy. If one is correct, obviously it's, uh, uh, yeah, the sheep in this case. But I could go out to the next round again uh, from that pool, randomly chosen images, 
And um, yeah, the cat will be correct. Let's choose the cat. One of one. Yay. And I think they set up two rounds. No, that's three rounds. And um, yeah, well, the last remaining images. And just in case you wonder, of course, if you say um, you play with out replacement, you just have a limited number of cards of, or uh, uh, images, of course. If you then set 20 rounds, it will stop after the final round that it can serve. And the same with the images. You, if you don't have any correct images, then it will only shed, randomly choose uh, images and will be false. So this is all covered. Yeah, but let's not check anything. So there we go. And end screen and boo and zero over three because here zero is, um, yeah, the minimum uh, minimum score. And then you could go check the solutions. So I checked this one was wrong. This would have been correct. And so on and so on. Yeah, basically this is um, image choice rounds. You see it's working, working already. The stuff that's not working yet is in the back end kind of. So... Um, all that X API stuff has to be done. It has to be localized. Um, it has some accessibility issues that I have need to fix because sometimes um, other things should get focused when you switch from screen to screen, for example. Yeah, well, that's just some minor things. And I guess this will be released very soon. So uh, stay tuned.